Here is another liver. Look how smooth the capsule is. Look how nice it is. It's not nodular. It doesn't have tumors or bumps. Here's a nice falciform ligament. Here's probably parts of the uh, coronal coronary ligaments. Uh, notice that this liver is not as brown as it should be. In fact, it is kind of more yellow than it is brown. And here's an area here that is almost predominantly yellow. Let's take a cut through that liver. And sure enough, it is quite uh, yellow, isn't it? You might have looked at the surface of your knife as you cut through it. Maybe it was kind of greasy after you cut through it. Maybe uh, the surface itself looks a little greasy. Also notice that if you look very carefully, all of these little red areas here are probably central veins and they have a rather uniform semi-hexagonal type arrangement. So you would not guess that this is cirrhosis, not only from the fact that the uh, capsule was smooth rather than nodular, but even when you look at these little central vein areas here, 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 here. Uh, this is still kind of a normal hexagonal portal architecture. Let's look at it microscopically. Wow. In the other two fatty livers, we guessed maybe from 10 to 20 to 50 to 60 percent of the liver cut section was fat. Here, I would probably guess that if you dissolved all the fat out of this liver chemically, it might wind up being 80 or 90 percent of the liver weight. But notice that even though this liver is terribly, terribly overloaded with fat, which is what all these spaces are, predominantly macrovesicular, but you know some of these little vacuoles within cells are microvesicular. Notice that even though it's overloaded with fat, the so-called portal hexagonal architecture is still preserved. This person may not have a tremendous amount of liver disease functionally. Uh, on the other hand, if the fatty liver can uh, extend and be allowed to exist for long periods of time in such a way, you'll see that there will be some fibrosis around these portal tracts extending to other portal tracts. And once you have a area of fibrosis extending from one portal tract to another in such a degree that the a uh, normal hexagonal architecture of the liver is disrupted, then that's cirrhosis, isn't it? This is uh, perhaps a very, very early cirrhosis or portal fibrosis, but I'd have a hard time calling it cirrhosis myself. Thank you very much.